in this video we are going to talk about breach presentation and its management this topic is very very important when you study obstetrics it's not only important theoretically it's very important doing practical also so i want your complete attention in this video this video might be boring but medical science is not always fun so kindly give attention to this video what is breach presentation we have the longitudinal lie but we have the podalic pole of the fetus in the lower part of uterus instead of cephalic part okay i am not talking about whether it should be a breach by the way what is a breach the bumps of the fetus along with genitalia it's called breach so it's not always that that the breach is present inside in the lower part of uterus it might be uh, legs so the breach presentation means the podalic pole of the baby is present in the lower part of uterus there are many figures that how much in how many cases the breach presentation is there there are many many figures but i want to concentrate you only one thing that that only 3% cases are present at labor or at the term pregnancy which are of breach presentation breach presentation is much much higher in earlier weeks of the pregnancy but remember this figure 3% of the cases are present at the term pregnancy now these are the types of breach the first one is called complete breach in complete breach what we are trying to say is it has totally flexed attitude thighs are flexed knees flex limbs flex head flexed that is called complete breach another is frank breach in frank breach thighs are flexed but knees are not knees are extended like this and in footling breach the thighs and knees are partially flexed that's why the legs reaches the part earlier in the lower pole that is footling presentation these three basic kinds of presentations are there now there is one other type of the breach that is star gazer breach in which the uh, in any of this breach presentation the head of the fetus is if it is extended or partially extended it is called star gazer fetus like the fetus is sitting in the uterus and gazing towards the star okay now this was a very brief introduction to the breach presentation now the very a very important part is what the management of the breach if the patient comes to you before the labor starts and it has completed the uh, term like 37 weeks you can go for external cephalic version in ward uh, in external cephalic version what we do is we just rotate the baby with the help of palpation abdominally this method was previously was very very enthusiastically used but nowadays it is not used why it is not used because there are risk of the babies you might get abruption placenta you might get your cord uh, uh, cord around neck stiffer so it's not done in nowadays practices but for theory purposes you should remember what are the prerequisite of doing 
external cephalic version there should be adequate liquor there should be mem uh, the membranes are should be intact there should be no contraindication of vaginal delivery and all this prerequisite if not present become the contraindication of external cephalic version that is oligohydromnios rupture of membrane the contraindication to the vaginal delivery like placenta previa cpd etc okay uh, now if the breach presentation you identify at the time of labor in active labor what can you do you have three options first one is assisted breach delivery that means vaginal delivery second one is breach extraction and the third one is cesarean section let me guess one thing breach extraction is not performed nowadays what we do in breach extraction we just don't follow the mother's uterine contraction we just try and go and try to extract one by one part of the fetus out of the uterus and that is very dangerous to fetus also and mother also we are not doing that thing nowadays if we talk about cesarean section then we should know that the rate of cesarean section in case of breech presentation are continuously increasing because of decreased overall perinatal mortality what are the indication of cesarean section remember my friend there is never never ever complete indication of cesarean section in case of breech not very 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 uh, gold standard indication of cesarean section in case of breech it depends on how how the labor presents for example if the fetus is of foot link presentation stargazer breech pre uh, preterm breech twins with first breech presentation primary gravida with breech all these things you can think for cesarean section and you should prefer for cesarean section if you are not very very experienced about breech deliveries normal vaginal breech deliveries okay so these are some indication of cesarean section now let's concentrate about the main point that is how we deliver the uh, breech presentation that is assisted breech delivery now there are some principles of assisted breech delivery i want to show you first of all it's not a any other vaginal delivery you should be very expert about this you should be in tertiary care hospital where anything happens you have emergency cesarean section available you should have neonatal baby care unit at your hospital there should be never induction of labor what we want is fully spontaneous dilatation and effacement of the cervix so that it cannot it cannot obstruct the after coming head okay and there should be never attraction given to them for example you should not just pull the baby from the vagina no you cannot do that you are completely reliant on uterine contraction and mother efforts so these are some very basic principles of vaginal breech delivery i will be have a separate video how we do a delivery okay now there are three main parts of vaginal delivery delivery of buttocks delivery of the shoulders and delivery of after coming head these three things are very important and for that thing we have contain many many amounts of maneuvers present and many many maneuvers are there i want i don't want you to confuse in those various maneuvers 
I want you to concentrate only on four maneuvers. Okay, only four maneuvers. Let's start from the delivery of buttocks. Whenever you do delivery of buttocks, the diameter that comes is by trochanteric diameter. Okay, and at this time you need to do what? Use frank use of episiotomy because it saves and uh, does this wonder for the bridge delivery. Now the first maneuver I as I said before comes that is pinard maneuver. What is that? In pinard maneuver, you can see the figure. Whenever you uh, see that the buttocks are coming out from the vagina, what you what you need to do is you need to extract the limbs, both lower limbs of the fetus out of the vagina. So what you do, it it actually happens in frank bridge. Whenever you, you realize, realize that it is a frank bridge, what you do, you need to first try to uh, extract the, the lower limbs of the fetus. For doing this, what you need to do is, you just flexion abduction of the popliteal fossa here. You give, you give pressure at here. That's why the limb is just bent. And then you catch hold the ankle here, like this. And then you pull down the ankle and uh, uh, by then you get one limb extracted. You do the same with the second limb. That's why you extracted the limbs. And now uh, if the both limbs are out, it's very easy to the buttocks to come out. So it was the first manure, pinard manure. Now, delivery of the shoulders. Delivery of the shoulders, we got the diameter is by acromial diameter and that is around 14 centimeter. What you need to do is, you need to use your second maneuver as I told before, there are only four maneuver, this is the second one, law sets maneuver. For delivery of shoulder, you should use low sets maneuver, and this is the low sets maneuver. What is the principle? The principle is the epi diameter of, of outlet is maximum. Whenever we talk about pelvic outlet, the epi diameter is maximum. So what we should do? We just rotate the baby by 90 degrees. For example. If the fetus comes out and then you rotate 90 degree so that the anti uh, uh, the by acromial diameters comes into the anterior posterior diameter of the pelvis then you extract one shoulder and one upper limb then you do 180 degree rotation and you get the posterior shoulder to anterior okay what you are doing simply i am telling you you get the biacromital diameter of the uh, fetus into the ap diameter first of all then you extract the anterior shoulder then you rotate the baby 180 degree so that the posterior shoulder or posteriorly which is inside the uterus comes out and comes anteriorly so then you can easily get it out. This is how you do the low sets. Now let's go for third. Delivery of the after coming head of bridge. This step is very very important and vital step. Most of the time the diameter engaging is sub occipital frontal diameter that is around 10 to 11 centimeters. So, in this case, we have two similar like maneuvers available. The first one is Burns Marshall method. In Burns Marshall method, what you do is this is first of all, you have extracted 
or four limbs, abdomen, buttocks, everything. Now only head is inside. Then you allow and let him hang until you can see the hair at the back of his neck. Okay, so this will give the traction to the head by itself only. Then you hold the feet and then you rotate 180 degree giving support to his mouth. So this is how you get, this is how the head of the baby comes out. Okay, so this was Bun Marshall's method. Now, another maneuver is the fourth maneuver, the last maneuver in this video is Moriesu smelly weight maneuver that is that is shoulder traction palmer flexion shoulder traction is given by putting the upper hand here and simultaneously you do flexion of the head with the help of palmer fingers to be put on the chin of the fetus so the lower uh, so the smallest diameter of head can come out this was my friend all about bridge presentation and its management i have separated videos about how to deliver and how to use each and every maneuver in simple language thank you